Allison from Barocco, and I am here to show you double knitting techniques today. In double knitting, we are creating two layers of fabric which are reversible. Um, so every stitch that you make makes one stitch on one side of one color, and at the and then you're also making a, a stitch on the other side in the opposite color. And this allows us to do a lot of really fun things with color work, um, as I've used in our headband and our chicory hat and um, cowl set. And so I'm going to start off by just showing the basic double knitting stitch. So I have one yarn in each hand. And every, we always are going to think of the stitches in pairs of stitches. So this first stitch, I'm, I've got both of the yarns in the back of the work. I'm going to knit this first stitch with, we're going to call the yellow color A. And then I'm going to bring both of the yarns into the front somehow. I'm going to bring both of the yarns into the front of my needles. And now I'm going to purl this stitch with color B, the darker colored yarn, which is in my left hand. Now I'm going to bring both of the yarns to the back. I'm going to knit the yellow stitch with the yellow yarn. I'm going to bring both of the yarns to the front and purl this stitch with the other color. And then we're going to bring them to the back again. If you aren't comfortable holding the yarns in two hands like this, um, this is how I like to do stranded color work, but if you like to do your stranded color work with a different method, um, one thing you can do is to hold, if you're a continental knitter, you might want to hold both of the yarns in your left hand, um, and then you'll just pick the color of the stitch that you're trying to make. So we're going to knit this stitch, I'm going into the yellow stitch, I'm going to pick just that yellow yarn and pull that through. I'm going to move both of the yarns to the front. I'm going to go into this next stitch and purl it, and I'm just going to grab the dark color yarn. And then I'm going to bring them both to the back. So that is one option for you. Um, you can also simply hold them both in your right hand and you probably would want to sort of drop the yarn each time. So I'm going to knit this stitch with the yellow. I'm going to move both the yarns to the front and then I'm going to purl the next stitch with the dark color yarn. And that is the basic, um, the basic double knitting technique. The important thing as you're going, you always have a knit and a, a purl in pairs, and you always have to remember to move both of the yarns to the front to purl, to the back to knit, and that keeps the, the other yarn going in between the two layers of fabric. I'm gonna show the double knitting technique with one yarn in each hand. Um, we have pairs of stitches with a knit and a purl always in the two colors. So we're going to knit the first stitch with the first color, which is in my right hand. Then I'm going to bring both of the yarns to the front and we're going to purl the second color and bring both of the yarns to the back. And again, we'll knit the first color, bring the yarns to the front, Pearl with the second color. Now I am going to show decreasing and double knitting. Um, so to make a decrease, I'm going, I need to get the stitches into a different order. So I'm going to slip the first stitch over to the right hand needle. And then I'm gonna put my right needle into this next, I'm gonna skip the next stitch and go into the, the second stitch that's now on the needle so that I've got the two colors that are the same. And I'm going to pull my needle gently out of that back stitch and then go right back into it to catch it. So now you can see I have two of the first color in a row and two of the second color in a row. 
And now all I have to do is put these stitches back onto the left needle, knit those two together, and then bring my yarns to the front and purl these two together. And go to the back of them. And so now I have made a decrease on one side with one color and on the other side with the other color. I am going to demonstrate two different ways to cast on for our double knitting projects. The first that I'm gonna show you is the easier way. It's called the two color alternating long tail cast on. So this method does make a little ridge in the opposite color um, on your double knitting piece. Um, it is very similar to a regular long tail cast on. It makes alternating knit stitches and purl stitches. We're going to start by making a slip knot with both of our yarns held together. We're not gonna keep this slip knot ultimately, um, but we're gonna put the whole slip knot, both, both colors on the needle. And again, we're gonna take that off at the end. You're going to hold um, as if just for a regular long tail cast on with one piece of yarn over your thumb and one going over your finger in kind of a, um, I always think of it as like a slingshot position. And the color that's on your finger is the one that we're gonna be making the knit stitches with that are gonna show on the front of the work as you're working. And the, um, the one over your thumb is gonna be Pearl, or is going to show as a purl stitch, and that's going to be the color that will be on the back of your work as you're working. So we're going to do our first stitch just like a regular long tail cast on stitch. We're going to go up through the loop on our thumb, over the top on your index finger, pull that through the thumb loop, and tighten that stitch. So now we've made one knit stitch. Now we're going to make a purl stitch. Um, so we're doing everything now essentially the mirror image of what we did for our regular knitted long tail. We're gonna go around the loop on our finger. So you're going all the way around the back of it and catching that loop on your finger. On your thumb, you're going sort of over to the front of it and catching that from underneath and then pulling that through and tightening that up. Now we're gonna make another knit stitch, just our regular long tail knit stitch and then we're going to make a purl stitch by going around to the back of that loop that's on our index finger around the front and underneath the loop on our thumb and then pull that through and so um, now we have alternating a knit a purl a knit a purl the one thing that is important to be aware of with this is that the stitches that you made as a purl stitch will be facing the opposite way on your needle. So you will need to work them through the back loop on your next row. If you're turning and working back and forth in rows, you would knit through the back loop for these stitches, or if you're working in the round, you would um, purl them through the back loop. And don't forget at the beginning of your either the beginning of your row if you're working in rounds or at the end of your row if you're working in rows, you're gonna just drop that slip stitch off the needle. So if I were going to work in rounds and I was gonna go to the other end of my needle, keep this side facing me, I would simply take this off and undo that slip stitch. Um, and we don't count that slip stitch as one of the stitches we're casting on. The other uh, method of casting on that I like for double knitting is a tubular cast on. Um, this makes a really um, seamless cast on um, just mirroring the tubular bind off. Um, it's a very uh, seamless edge that doesn't make any kind of ridge on, on the beginning of your project. For this cast on, we're similarly uh, going to start with a slip knot in both colors. Um, leaving just a short tail for weaving in later. You're not gonna count this stitch, just like the other cast on, it's going to be unraveled at the end. And um, 
we're gonna hold our hands in the same position as we do for a long tail cast on. Um, with the first color around our thumb and the second color around our index finger. Now we are going to catch the yarn that's coming from our thumb from front to back. Now, unlike the long tail, we're not going all the way under this um, loop. We're just going under the strand. And then you wanna grab the yarn coming off of your index finger um, under the needle and spread your fingers like this to, to keep that tight. This is one stitch made. Now, if I were to drop my fingers here, that's just gonna all come loose. So you do have to kind of keep hold of it as you're working. And I will come back to this position. There we go. Now we are going to catch the yarn from the index finger from back to front. And then we're going to grab the yarn from our thumb from front to back. And then we're gonna come back to that original position. So now we have a stitch in the second color. This is uh, considered a purl stitch. So we're just gonna keep repeating those two stitches. We're going to go um, from front to back, catching the yarn from your thumb, and then go around to the back of the yarn on your index finger, come under that yarn and come back to this home position, and then go over the yarn on your index finger, around the one on your thumb, and again, come back to home. And we just keep alternating those two steps. You can get a nice rhythm with this. Um, as I said, what makes it a little tricky is that you can't really, you have to kind of really hold these in place to start. And um, when you are doing the first row, um, and we're gonna turn and work this row uh, instead of going directly in the round. I really recommend, particularly with this method, it's a lot easier if you do the first row as a row, even if you're ultimately gonna be working in the round. So, and you can see I kind of kept hold of this the whole time so it didn't come loose. And similar to the other um, cast on, Every other stitch is seated on the needle facing the opposite direction of what we're used to. So for this first stitch, I'm going to knit it through the back loop. And then I'm going to bring both of the yarns to the front. And we're going to purl this next stitch with the other color. There are a few different ways that you can successfully bind off for double knitting. Um, the first way I'm gonna show is the easiest that I'm aware of. Um, it does make a little ridge. So you'll see a ridge of the opposite color um, as on your, on your piece. Um, so after this, I'll also show another way that's more invisible. So this method is very simple. It's almost like if you're binding off in a rib stitch, which we essentially are working in rib because we're always alternating the knits and purls. So we're going to work the first stitch as a knit stitch, just in our regular way with this, the color that is in the front. I'm gonna bring my yarns, both of them, to the front. And now we're going to purl this second stitch with the color that's in the back. And we're gonna bring the yarns to the back. And then just like a regular bind off, we're going to pass that first stitch over the second stitch. Now I'm going to work this next knit stitch in the, the front color just the same, a regular double knitting technique here. And then we're gonna pass the stitch over just like a regular bind off. And then we're gonna bring the yarns, both yarns to the front, 
curl the next stitch in the appropriate color, bring the yarns to the back, pass the stitch over, and I'll do one more knit, pass the stitch over, both yarns to the front, curl with the other color, yarns to the back, pass the stitch over. So you can see I'm making, it makes a little ridge, as I mentioned, <clears throat> of the opposite color. So if you want to make a more, a very invisible edge, we can use the sewn tubular bind off. The sewn tubular bind off is the one that I used on um, this cowl. And you can see it makes um, a really beautifully um, seamless edge there. So for this, we're gonna cut both of the yarns. Um, one, of, one of them, we're gonna leave a nice long tail, I would say maybe about three times um, as long as whatever edge you're binding off. And then that's gonna be the color that we're gonna use, the long tail. And then the other one we can cut just leaving a shorter end to weave in later. And then I'm going to thread my working yarn into a tapestry needle. So we're going to insert the tapestry needle into the first stitch of the needle as if to purl and pull the yarn through. And then we're going to go in between the first stitch and the second stitch from the back to the front and we're going to go into that second stitch as if to purl. And pull the yarn through. Now we're going to go into this first stitch as if to knit and we're gonna drop the yarn off the needle. And then we're gonna skip this next stitch and we're going into the, the, other, the second stitch on the needle as if to purl and pull the yarn through. Next, we go into the first stitch of the needle as if to purl and we drop it off the needle. Then, we go in between again, in between these two stitches. So we're going into that purl stitch and we're going into it as if to knit. Pull that through. We're going as if to knit and pull it off. And then into as if to purl and pull it through. to the next purl stitch as if to purl, take it off, and then uh, go in between the stitches and grab that purl stitch as if to knit, and then we pull this through. And we just keep repeating that until we've gotten all the way across, as if to knit and off, and then into the second stitch as if to purl, pull through. And then into this purl stitch as if to purl and pull it off, in through the back, into that second stitch as if to knit and pull it through. And then you can see we're making an edge where it's seamless.